Okay, I will be teaching you how to use Remote Joy on either your PSP, Fat, or Slim. First, what you want to do is download Custom Firmware Extender 2.2. Go ahead and open it, and go into the Release folder. Now, connect your PSP to your computer. Okay, now that you are in the root of your memory stick, copy SC, the SC plugins folder onto the root of your memory stick. So after it's done copying, it should look like that. Go ahead and exit out of this and restart your PSP into recovery mode. For those of you who do not know how to do that, completely turn off your PSP and hold the R trigger while um, turning on your PSP. Now go into the plugins uh, menu and enable all three of the plugins that should be there. After you've done that, hit the exit option and it should return you back to the XMB. When you are in the XMB, Press and hold the note key plus the R trigger together once. Make sure your USB cable is connected. Click click locate and install driver. Continue. And just wait. Okay, a window should pop up saying Windows did not find any driver software for the PSP. Click I don't have disk, show me other options. Browse my computer and click browse. Go into the custom firmware extender which should be wherever you downloaded it. I downloaded it to my desktop so it will be there. And under the Windows folder use either USB driver or USB driver x64 the x64 one is for 64-bit versions of Windows since I have a 32-bit version of Windows I'll be using USB driver and select it and select OK make sure the include subfolders is checked if it's not check it hit next and wait for the software to install. If a message pops up, just hit install this install the driver software anyway. Okay, it is done. Hit close. Now hit the note key plus the R trigger once again on your PSP. Now restart your PSP. Okay, go back onto the custom firmware extender folder and double click on the Windows folder. Go into Remote Joy GUI and start the start remote joy file hit run and you should see this now on your PSP hit the note key plus the R trigger again just once and wait make sure your USB is plugged in don't move it okay this is your XMB right here hit the C key to capture note it will save every screenshot that like every frame that it sees so if you are connected to a fast USB or a fast computer, you will have faster frame rates. If you have a slow computer, you will get slower frame rates. When you're done recording, hit the note key plus the R trigger again to end capture. Okay, so now you're done with this and you can just exit out. 
note it's it saves all the um, frames in the capture folder and so here are all these frames in the short time I recorded I got 480 frames so you will get a lot okay so go back to the top and now you'll want to download virtual dub alright um, go ahead and run virtual dub and clear this now drag the first screenshot onto the virtual dub menu and just wait okay now go under file and click save as AVI and just save it as whatever you want I will name it test and hit save now it will compile all your screenshots on an AVI file okay there you go now close out of this and see it no, um, unfortunately remote joy can currently or a separate mic add-on plug to your computer and just set the mic next to PSP and get sound that way I hope this tutorial has been helpful and if not just post questions and I will try to respond to them as quickly as I can thanks for watching